Three and a half grand? Yes, that's correct, yeah. I'm such a moron. For God's sake! It's quite well known that YouTubers can make a lot of money. As a result, they like to buy lots of lovely things. Jets, fast cars and alpacas are all on the agenda. Alpaca rights until we die, baby. And they show all of these lovely things to the world. It's a way of flexing. Now, I make a living from YouTube, which makes me a very lucky boy. Big fan of cucumbers? But my videos, well, they haven't quite earned me the big bucks yet. So in a quiet moment of reflection, I thought, how can I flex on everyone on a budget? What does no other YouTuber in the world have? And I found my answer. A roundabout. Morning. Nothing. Here in the UK, owning or sponsoring a roundabout isn't a new idea. For brief periods of time, companies can put plaques or signs on these roundabouts to advertise their business. This is an example of a lovely roundabout. Good roundabout this. The Royal Wooten Bassett Council getting involved with this one. So let's go round. What a lovely roundabout that is. Lots of green space, there's good flowers as well. The, the good thing about roundabouts is that once you, if you miss your turning, you go round twice, you get the advert twice, basically. A big fan of those. All in all, good roundabout. It's the councils who are the ones that own these roundabouts, so I called up a few of them to see how much they cost. Hello, Cheshire East County Council. Hi, um, I'm just wondering, what's the cheapest roundabout that you have available at the moment? As it stands, the cheapest roundabout you'd actually be able to buy yourself is at £3,500. It's going to cost £4,000. For the year, it's £3,750. Right, is that, is that the cheapest one you have? Yeah, yeah, that would be the cheapest. Alright, thank you so much. No problem. Cheers. Three and a half grand. For a roundabout, I can't afford three and a half grand for a roundabout. You must be able to get a roundabout for cheaper than that. You're right past Max, you can. I put a call onto Instagram to ask whether anyone knew anybody who worked in a council. Ding, 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 we have a winner. Someone says their dad is quite high up in the Siddington Parish Council, which is a small town in Gloucestershire. <laughs> and what's great is that it's round the corner from Sirencester where I did that posh video. Yeah. Why do you think so many posh people come to Siren Sister? Definitely a lot of mummies and daddies have been here. I also don't think I'm particularly popular in that era because of that video I recently found out from someone who went there that my nickname at the university was Mud. Regardless of my popularity at the uni around the corner, the parish council jumped at the idea that I would give them £500 in return for one of their roundabouts. There was one small issue. They don't have any roundabouts in Siddington. For God's sake! So although they don't technically have a roundabout in Sillington, I have been offered what is known as a verge for habitat. Now, if I thought that no other YouTuber in the world had a roundabout, I can almost guarantee that no other YouTuber in the world has a verge for habitat. The good thing is, I actually think this particular verge for habitat could qualify as a roundabout. <laughs> To make sure it did, I looked up the definition of a roundabout. A roundabout is defined as a road junction at which traffic moves in one direction around a central island to reach one of the roads converging on it. That's exactly what happens on my verge for habitat, therefore, technically, I can call it a roundabout. This is mental. I've just been sent the sort code and the account details of the council. I'm just going to plop 500 of the Queen's finest pounds into it for a roundabout. <laughs> Payment complete. It's unveiling day, it's roundabout unveiling day, but I'm on my way to Essex to collect something that's going to add, let's just say, a little bit of pizzazz to the, uh, the opening ceremony, because although I'm very much limited by the width of the roundabout, I'm not limited by the height of the roundabout. I think the sign Mega Inflatables is a small giveaway here. Hello? So I've come to mega flatables for a quote-unquote air dancer now they've been very nice and giving it for free because i'm now influencing you so let me influence you squishy influenced hello john mate god so this is all of it is it yeah shit uh, how how tall is it 18 foot and then just turn the key all right all right 
And then when you've just packed up and you just go in, make sure that's that. It's nice and unassuming that, isn't it? <laughs> Air Dancer acquired. I now am driving to the printers who have printed the plaques that are going to go on the roundabout. We want our roundabout to have a name, don't we? We want to make sure that everyone knows that it's it's the Max Vosch roundabout. I've called it the Swingsen, so it's then the Swings and Roundabout. Comedy. Right, time to pick up the signs now for my lovely roundabout. They are your huge signs. <laughs> oh, look at that! One bona fide plaque. There you go. Welcome to the Swings and Roundabout. This incredible pa- oh. <laughs> There is a typo on the sign. That's my fault as well. I read that over and over and over again. And welcome to the Swings and Roundabout. This incredibly patch of ground <laughs> has been sponsored by Max Mudfosh for the year of 2021. I'm such a moron. I've made it, Siddington, here I am, the home of the Max Foch roundabout. I think it's two minutes away. See, this, this place is teeming with activity and atmosphere. A woman on a run? There's a bus? Must close the street down for me. Oh, sorry. I'm... There it is! Here we go. <laughs> this is my roundabout. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I'm ecstatic. Yeah, I know. Is that in the background here? Yeah, it's mine. Look at it. <laughs> here we are. Welcome to the world's first YouTuber roundabout in the lovely village of Siddington, just outside Sirencester. The unveiling of the roundabout was a big deal, and so I wanted to get someone suitably impressive. It, it really wasn't easy, but this guy, yeah, this guy was the man for the job. My name's Abe Unwin, and Raymond Unwin was my great-great-great-grandfather who opened the first roundabout in 1909 in Letchworth. So, uh, Abe, thanks for coming. Well, you're very welcome. Thank uh, you for asking me. Um, I'm honoured. I like your jacket. Thank you very much. Seems that the roundabout money is good. What do you, what do you have to say about this lovely roundabout? Uh, I mean, I've done smaller ones, I've done bigger ones. Yeah, without any further ado, I suppose um, I'd love to declare this roundabout open, the Swings and Roundabout in Gloucestershire. <laughs> and in celebration... Um... It's a bit noisy! That's usually what's it's own roundabout! <laughs> sure, an 18 foot flapping piece of PVC does draw some attention, and the locals came out in force to have a look. I don't know, I thought it was a crane to start with. One of them being a very famous person. So, the woman who came out earlier, she just come out and told me that her dad is a celebrity. <laughs> a man called Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. Imagine me coming through your front door flap. <laughs> he lives in the house opposite the swings and um, that's what we call it nowadays, and He's just said that he wants to come out and meet the roundabout. <laughs> but sadly, a temporary, a temporary erection. This is the ten this is a very much a temp. Whenever I think of you, I'm going to think of temporary erection. Ah, oh, sir, that is very kind. <laughs> I can't but, wait. Um, no, I mean, look, feel free. I mean, I, 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 it's a very important piece of um, Cotswold real estate. Yeah. Um, and I it's mean, right outside your, your bathroom right window. Right outside my manor house. Yeah. Well, um, there's there gonna... goes the area. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving house prices down. Yes, I've lost you 30 grand just by putting this erection up. I, I do something about this. I mean, <laughs> all of this is... This is amazing. This, this is a mass grave. That is just a lot of corduroy. <laughs> Thank you. Have my <laughs> Thank you, sir. You could kiss my ring. Uh, no. So as the curtain falls on this video, I hope everyone who's watching is feeling the flex. The flex of Max Fosh being the first YouTuber in the world to have their own roundabout. But quickly, if I may, can I just leave one more message to Mr. William Lenny? Hi, Will. You all right, mate? You find me 
on the world's first YouTube roundabout in Siddington in Gloucestershire. Now, currently, this roundabout is mine, but uh, it could be yours. Recently, you've been doing a video series in which you swap things. And for a man who seems to have everything, the views, the money, the Kieran Carlin, I want to offer you something that you might not have, your own roundabout. Now, currently, this is called the Swings and Roundabout, and this incredible patch of ground has been sponsored by Max Fosh for the year of 2021. But what if it became the William Lenny Roundabout? There's all sorts of possibilities you can do with the roundabout. You can play golf. You can do a stand-up show. So, the weather, am I right? You can visit it. In return, for you to have this roundabout of there to be basically William Lenny land. I would like two appearances on the S2W channel. It's pretty simple. Think about it. 